What's up guys, Master Styles here back with another AFK journey video and today we'll talk about my progress, what you should do, what you shouldn't do and depending on the strategy you want to go, whether you want to get all the heroes or do you focus on the heroes that's going to help you progress your account. But let's just go and see how far we've gotten. So, so far I finished all the way through the mountains, the dark forest is done, the mountains. And I'm assuming this part is next. I kind of want to finish this part before the next part comes online. So actually let's see what happens here. Cause beyond here, I have yet to progress. So let's go see what this guy have to say. And we'll go from there and see if he brings us back to the mainland or he's bringing us to the next part. It's called a new leaf. So let's see here. I I don't really listen to the story sometimes. I just don't. Okay. So I'm assuming this is gonna push us to the next part. So I'm just gonna skip all over it. And let's see here. Yep, as assumed. We're going to here, it's gonna be another what primal beast or probably have a different name now. How do we access the next part? I'm I'm assuming. That's assumption. So so let's go over here and continue. And we'll talk a little bit more about what you kind of want to do, knowing that the new hero will be here in about what? Let's go check and see how much days. Yeah, pretty much four days. Four days, Flora will go into the actual elite recruitment pool and the new hero will be right here. So what do you want to do? As you can see, I have 16,000 diamonds. I'll be putting gift codes throughout the video. So do you want to make sure you stick around? Have some decent gift codes, get you some diamonds and get you some gold. Because again, it'll help out. So that's kind of what I want to do. So let's go back to here and see the progression we'll make into the next part. Sometimes I wish you could just, you know, teleport to this, oh, it's right here. So it's fairly close. I'm not interested in this story. Let's just get to it. I'm not, sometimes I skip over it. Let's just do this battle here. And we'll talk about my hero leveling and what I've been doing in terms of, am I controlling this? Oh, okay, because I thought I was controlling. In terms of where my heroes are and what you kind of want to be doing if you're not pushing stories or you're you know trying to be competitive but for me i'm free to play why are we struggling on these guys this is so weird sometimes when it comes to like the story here just give me my team i don't want to use these guys because if this was my team this would have been over already they're like struggling I'm about to time out like what is happening here like, this is so weird. I, didn't, I don't understand what was going on. Like, just give me my team. Nah, right, let's move on. Don't want to see none of that. I don't. I have no interest in that. Let's just get to the point and move on to the next part. What is this? Quick, skipping over it. This is all I, I do, because after a while, I just don't care for this story. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't. It's not that it's not good. I just don't care. All right talk too much man they talk a lot imagine sitting through that okay thank you for the diamonds i appreciate that how do we get to the next part that's what i want to know okay there it is so that's where the next section is it's fairly close i didn't think it would be that close which is pretty cool so definitely again when it comes to all this i'm i'm very interested to see what you guys say should i you know, play through the story or 91, we're way higher than that. And we need to do AFK. <laughs> of course we do. Why would we need to, right? I thought I was already at that point, but I guess we're not gonna be able to do that because it's gonna take some time to progress through that. So let's just move on to the heroes. So my heroes are at 220, we'll bring them all there. One thing I do like though, that they did, which is pretty cool, is this catch up mechanism. So you're behind in your current AFK progress. So they doubled it. I love that. And uh, 
telling you, this this definitely helped me to catch up. And that's what I've been doing. So pretty much just go AFK and I've been coming in and leveling up my heroes. That's how I got all the way here pretty quick. So now everybody will be 220. I think there's a cap at 240 and then you have to do some other things to progress higher than that. So now everybody's there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's nice. I'm not spending any money on the game. I'm still free to play, as you can see. Let's go back and confirm that. I still haven't made my first purchase yet. It's still sitting here, just in case. Think about progressing into that. But again, the to, to what I was saying was, do you get try to get all the heroes, right? Which makes sense. You will eventually get all the heroes. That's the other side of it too. Or do you just focus on a particular hero, right? For me, because of course I make content, it would make sense for me to get all the heroes that way I can test them out and see who does what. That's why whenever the new hero comes out, I pick them up, talk about them a little bit, make some content around that. But for the person that's just playing the game, I think if you really want to progress, you pick up the set of heroes that people recommend, you know, continue to work on her. You're going to get her for free. Pick up on Tanja, right? Pick up Smokey. You need Smokey. Smokey is going to help you with that, throughout the content that you play. You're going to use them a lot, but focusing on them, getting them to Mythic, not her. She's all right. Also, who's another one? Thorn, if you can get Thorn. I, I still haven't got him there. Brutus will help you out. Coco will help you out. Who's rowing is pretty good. Who else is another person that I would focus on? These are the heroes you, can't, you wanna focus on. You also wanna focus on him here, because again, he'll help you out with Dream Moral. Any content that has bosses in there, having him at a high enough level will definitely help you to progress. It'll do way better. Another person that I see a lot is, where is he? This guy here, Corin, 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 yeah, Corin. He does well in Dream Realm and Dream Realm, right? The reason why I talk about Dream Realm so much is what you want to do when it comes to this one, right? So with this one, make sure you, the first one, the one before this, try to clear it, which is great. And then for the second one, because depending on where you are, you want to get to at least 40%. If you can get 80, that's, that's even better, right? If you can get to 80, that will be better because you get these weapon selection chests as you do it. So see there, bam, I already got it to 40, which is great. And that's how you continuously, over time, you'll slowly level up your classes. So see, let me go in here, grab that. I'm not doing that. I'm just going through auto replace. Yep, quick equip. And that's pretty much that quick equip that you're seeing there pretty much came from AFK. So again, these are the little things that you could do if you are either struggling or you want to progress to the next level. One thing I noticed about this game, I don't really get the, the urge to push content. Like I don't feel the competitiveness. Maybe I'm wrong, you know, I'm still fairly getting used to the game. So for me, I just don't feel that urge to want to push. Let's actually go over to the guild here and grab this chest. And here I'll definitely go with that. Maybe I picked the wrong one, but for me, I would rather those recruitment tickets than anything else. So we'll open it up, let's see what we get. And we get a lot of uh, trainer manuals because that's kind of what I need right now. Uh, I noticed that now that we are beyond 200, that trainer manual is starting to come in clutch. So getting that is good. We'll take that and of course, as always, no matter what game you're playing, if you know ahead of time, am I up here? No. If you know ahead of time that a new hero is coming to the game, what are you doing, right? What What is your preparation look like? So I've been holding on to all of this. My tickets are there, 30, that's not enough. 
then for here i only got two of those but you know it'll help because you end up using diamonds anyways but been holding on to these i'll do a whole summoning session and release all of these hopefully i get the remaining smoky that i need to get into mythic that'd be great but again make sure you're saving your tickets here not like these are going to really help out but at the same time just holding on to those until you get to a point where you're like okay let me just do a good amount of summons because there's two heroes chances are i feel i feel i'm just feeling it out and i'm looking at the game i feel like the other one of the heroes is going to be on the banner here and then one of them is going to probably be in here right unless they're going to put both i just i just don't see that so again here I have enough to get a copy of the new hero, right? And this game is fairly decent in terms of their hero releases because it takes a decent amount of time. You can accumulate back up to get in that. So again, Flora goes back into the regular pool and because she goes into the regular pool, you can potentially get a copy of her through the dining event that they have here because she would be in this pool. So that's another thing there. But this goes all the way up to, wow, 154. What does this go to? Yeah, 154. So there is a possibility of getting her throughout all of this. So cool. Let me actually pick up this girl right here. Cause I know if you watched my previous video, I was complaining about not getting her. So I'm gonna pick her up. I want to see what she's made of. Again, it goes back to that same thing where do you continue to build out one of the heroes or get all the heroes? For me, I want to get all the heroes. I want to see what they all can do. That's just me personally. Because remember what I said, I don't feel the urge to push anything. So until we get to that point, I'm just going to pick up all the heroes. You know? Because again, where is the urge for that? But in this situation here, I wish it would add somebody else to this. Like Thorn should be in here. He should. I just feel like he should. But any of these heroes, I'm not really interested. So I'm just gonna hold on to this for right now. The dream store I already spent all. I spend it all on this guy. I just spend it all. Okay. Hold on to it. Gotta get my Adi out there. I need three more and then I'll get him to Mythic to see what he can do. And then we'll make a video about that because I want to see what that's all about. I hear so much about it. They're always talking about it. And we'll see. So again, like I said, I'll be spreading out codes throughout the video. Maybe right now, we'll see. Okay, what else we got going on? And I think primarily that's it in terms of my progress, what I've done, what I've been doing, what works, what is best and now one thing i noticed is let's go back and we'll close it up you have to do what's best for you you know another person whether it be a content creator or someone talking to you in uh someone talking to you the facebook group you have to do what's best for your account what's going to help you progress right i want to make more content around this game but like i said i just don't feel the need to push anything like what is the incentive for pushing content so i'll play more i'll progress into that part but one thing i want you guys to do to help me out to, to steer me in a, somewhat of a direction in terms of what you would want to see right do i play through the story or do i just continue to make videos around tips and tricks so it's going to be up to you guys in terms of what you want to see because again as i go through this afk journey process there are two ways to play afk or just push 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 every day and for me the afk part is pretty cool because again you see they have the catch-up mechanism i don't know if they're going to do that all the time but i feel like once you get to 240 we'll see how that works right but if you are new to my channel and you want tips and tricks about AFK Journey, this is the channel you want to subscribe to. And for those that are rock with me, make sure you hit the like button. Comment down below your progress in AFK Journey. Without further ado, I want to thank you for watching. Till the next video.
Peace.